Hey guys, so with the exception of the assignment that you're going to be completing for this week, you're done reading and studying and looking at all this crazy literature and all this introduction to literature that Mr. Marsh has put you through for this entire semester or for this entire academic year. We've come quite a long way because if you guys remember, we started off with Mark Twain's Diary of Adam and Eve and Frank Stockton's The Lady or the Tiger. And we've moved through all kinds of stuff, getting all the way to these last little poems here at the end. It's been quite a journey. We've read a lot of interesting stuff and looked at a bunch of different genres and read a lot of cool things uh, and studied a lot of cool things and have a, had some wonderful conversations about all kinds of stuff. Um, you guys have read and studied two Shakespeare plays in a year. That's amazing. Most high schoolers only do one and you guys did two. That's awesome. But anyway, um, we're just going to jump into what you're doing for uh, the rest of the week, and then I'll go over a couple of little reminders with you guys, and that'll basically be it. So I'm going to click the share screen real quick and show you guys what's going on there. But before I get there, um, and before I do that, I just want to let you guys know, to alleviate any fears, you're not going to have a final exam. You are, however, going to complete something in the place of your final exam that will still count for the same percentage. So let's go take a look at what that's about. Uh, so let me make this a little bigger and we'll jump into there. Okay, there I am. All right. So if you click on the link on GradeLink, you will come to this thing. And before I go into what you're actually doing, let me go over this right here. So you're gonna be writing something that is at least one and a half complete pages with a maximum of two pages. And the maximum is just to keep uh, you guys that like to write a lot uh, condensed. I'll actually say maximum of two and a half, just for your benefit. Um, format, it needs to be in Times New Roman, size 12, double spaced with the MLA heading and the page numbering that we've been over. So just so you guys know, as you're working on Google Docs, your font selectors here, you'll need to scroll down to Times New Roman. It might be here as a recent. Make sure you're in font 12 and then your spacing issue uh, will be over here. Uh, so just make sure that you click on this thing with the arrows and the three lines and you go down here and click on double uh, and that will solve everything except I'm going to undo that. All right. Um, for the MLA heading, that for the MLA heading, let me just do that up here and I'll keep this up here for you guys. Um, you would put your first and and last name here, you'll put my name here. You'll just put, uh, I'm going to do this here. And then um, you would put the date, the inverted date here. So this will be 15th of May, 2020. All right, and that's what you'll do. And you'd hit enter, center it, and then you put your title there, okay? So I will leave that up there for you guys to use on your own, but ultimately the rest of the assignment is down here. So just pay attention to what's here instead. Uh, but you can copy and paste that in and make that your own thing. And then page numbering, when you guys need to do that, you'll hit insert. Uh, where is it at? I don't know. Oh, page numbers, obviously. Page numbers go down here, click this option, and that will take you to some stuff. And once you do that, you can just hit your uh, left arrow key, type your last name, and then uh, just make sure that that's in TNR times New Roman 12 as well. Times New Roman 12. There we go. All right, so that's what it should look like. I'll go ahead and put this in TNR 12 too. If you guys just want to copy this over into another document, I'll leave that up to you guys. But basically, that's what that is. I'm going to put this line here um, just so you guys know that that uh, header information is just for you guys. And make sure it's all double spaced as well. Okay, so let's jump into what we're doing. All right. So to submit this, you will make a shared Google Doc. Um, so you can just go up here, click File, New, Document, and just start from there. And that's where you can copy and paste the stuff over there. Um, and you'll name it with your last name, comma, nine, final. And that's what you'll need to do there. So instead of administering the final exam, you are instead going to write a one and a half to two page response to the following questions. So you need to make sure that you answer these three questions in at least one and a half to two pages with paragraphs and all that. So. You do not have to write this like a typical essay with an introduction and then a thesis statement at the end of that, followed by some body paragraphs and a conclusion. None of that. You just need to answer these questions in a cohesive, thorough fashion. So consider question one. 
consider the entire class from August to May. All the works that we've read and studied, which were your favorites? And then you need to answer why. What big ideas, messages, or literary ideas did you learn from your favorites? By literary ideas, I mean like foreshadowing, character, depth, humanity, universal themes, you know, what, what did you, what did you get out of those, those, those big ideas, satire, you know, that kind of stuff, that stuff that we studied for forever with hitchhikers. Um, look at that kind of thing. What did you learn from your favorites? So which were your favorites? Why? And what did you get out of them is basically what I'm asking here. And I have listed every single thing that we looked at and read and studied, including in the woods, because that was a big deal because we did study the musical um, with reference to the fairy tales. All of that stuff here, pick which were your favorites. I included the short stories we read, you know, Romeo and Juliet, all the mythology stuff, Percy Jackson, the Brothers Grimm fairy tales, among some others, Hitchhikers, Julius Caesar, and any of those poems that we read right at the end. What were your favorite stories? Why? And the why doesn't have to be about something we did in class. The why could be like, I like this story because of this. I liked Hitchhikers because it's hilarious and it showed me that something can be really funny and still say something important. That's what I would say because obviously that was my favorite thing that we read because it's hilarious and it says quite a lot <laughs> on a lot of different things um, and that's kind of interesting. Number two, what have been the most memorable and enjoyable experiences to you from this class? You also need to be sure to explain why these events were so important to you as well. Um, so just make sure that you do that. You can relate this to this question. Uh, some of you may not want to separate number two from number one, and that's completely okay, as long as I can see it answered somewhere in there. And then finally, number three, when it's all said and done, what do you think you'll take away most from this class? Is there a lesson you learned that really stuck out to you from the stories and stuff that we've looked at? Some big idea that I made you aware of or something entirely different? And by big idea that I made you aware of, maybe it's something that like that discussion we had about Orpheus and Eurydice and the story of Lot and his wife leaving Sodom and Gomorrah and her having the turn back moment and Orpheus having the turn back moment and what did that mean? Maybe there's a there's a deeper connection there. Maybe it's this whole thing about us all telling the same stories over and over and over again because they're echoes of the real story. Maybe, I don't know, that's one of the that's one of my favorite ideas that we've discussed, but it might not be your favorite idea and that's okay. Um, but is there a lesson that really stuck out to you, some big idea I made you aware of, or something entirely different? Just when it's all said and done and you look back on your life and you look back on your high school career, and you think back to that crazy English class you had with Mr. Marsh, what are you going to remember? And if it's just gargle blasters, that's fine. But at least tell me why, you know? Um, but I hope that this isn't something as silly as the gargle blaster, um, because that should be for number two. What I want this question to be about is like, what have I taught you? That's what I want to know. Like, what, what are you going to remember? What, what, what's this big thing that you're going to remember from, from the class? And that's really what I want, what I want to know. And then this final little note here, this final assignment will count as 20% of your grade, as the 20% of your grade that was previously reserved for your semester exam. Okay, so this still counts as 20%. This still counts as much as your final would count. So keep that in mind, make this your best work. Um, you'll be graded according to completion and answering the questions. So basically, if you follow these instructions here and you at least answer these three questions, and I can tell that you've answered these three questions somewhere in what you write, you get 70 points, you pass it. But remember, you wanna do better than just pass this. 20 more points will come from content and how well you answer these questions and then or how thorough how well and how thorough and how detailed you answer these questions you're free to quote stuff if you want to point out something specific from a particular reading um, you can look up mythology and hitchhikers online you can probably find excerpts there uh, and i know that these are available online as well if you would like to find something to quote from them um, you know where to find shakespeare and then finally you'll be graded on readability as well. And by readability, I mean following correct grammar, you know, proofreading your work, making sure there's not a lot of errors in there. If there's not a ton of errors, it's clear that you proofread your stuff, you went back over it, you made sure there weren't any errors, you make a lot of sense. Um, 
I can read your stuff even if there are errors in it without me being too distracted and it doesn't take away from your meaning, you get the final 10 points. So this should be fairly straightforward, fairly easy. Um, it's just one and a half to two and a half pages. And I know that you guys can do this and I'm really excited to see what you come up with. Um, so other than that, let me make sure that that is everything I need to go through. Um, oh yes, so the other thing, this will be due on Friday, May 15th. Uh, but anytime between now and Wednesday, you are free to shoot me a text over a remind or hang out and say, hey, Mr. Marsh, can you go look over my final assignment and just give me some feedback and some suggestions? I'll try to do that as soon as I get your message. No promises that it'll be immediate because who knows what I'll be doing. Um, but I'll try to do that and get back to you as soon as possible on that. Um, and then you can go back in and check and see what you can do to make it a little bit better and try to get a better grade on it. But really, that's all you guys are doing for the week. Um, so I'm really, really excited to see what you come up with. And I thought this would be a better way of not really measuring what you've done uh, or not really evaluating what you're able to do, um, but evaluating just the class as a whole. And I think that's a better indication of what you've learned and what this class has meant to you than any final exam test could ever show me. Um, so I'm excited about this and I hope you guys are too. Um, and so get to it. And if you need any help, just let me know and I'll be more than willing to provide it.